So again, nothing fancier. So okay, now um, let's create a let's create a um, image just for demonstration purpose. So Docker files, Elasticsearch. And uh, sudo docker build dash t elastic search colon snapshot. And in fact, I would say here Ubuntu. And this will be docker build, not built. Okay, and our Docker file is here in current directory. So now let's, so our image is ready. Now create, now run a, run a Docker container on top of that. So sudo docker run. And uh, Um, let me show you one thing here. Elasticsearch. Elasticsearch data. So this is the path that we will that we will mount. Okay. So sudo docker run, and let's name it my Elasticsearch and port 9200 of docker host map to 9200 of inside docker container again r 9300 to docker docker container 9300 map and then of course volume this directory that that contains our configuration files for this tutorial map to slash data and Um, now we need we'll run it as daemon and our image name will be aria.com Ubuntu Elastic Search colon snapshot and then of course the command that we want to execute so that is Elastic Search bin elastic search and the configuration file that we want to give test.config is equal to it is located here elastic search.yml so let's have a quick review over the command suited docker run and if name will be my elastic search both ports are mapped and we have defined volume as well and running it as in, in a daemon mode or detached mode and then command and okay I think it should work it's already okay so sudo docker rm dash f it seems that both the ports okay name and ports are occupied okay so docker rm my elastic search let's remove the already running Dinner here and then re execute our command. Okay, and have a quick look through the Docker run through the Docker ps l that it is working fine. Okay, cross check on browser as well that it's working fine. So this will be. 9200 or in fact there is no harm we can check here as well so HTTP docker tutorial said when it's 9200 okay so it's showing few um, logs and that means it's working or in fact you can use just your also here 
shows you that you know for search okay come back to terminal so that means here our last search docker container is running now come to here and quickly just let me know what we're gonna do so first we'll create docker image using our docker file and then we'll create docker container remember that we're gonna link it with um, this already running my Elasticsearch and there is a trick and link that we there like we need like we have to use link name ES because this is a design when we created I'll, I'll show you um, when we created docker file so um, in this um, what are you gonna do here first build build docker image sudo docker build dash t cool deep aria dot com ubuntu um log stash colon snapshot and it's here no docker file found in okay of course cd log stash, log stash docker here is the docker file and repeat our command okay our image is ready now create a container on top of that now I will explain what I was saying before the sudo docker run and again before that so before that let me show you here that let's copy the path of the volume that we're gonna mount the host directory that we're gonna mount to the volume the sudo docker run and give it a name uh, my log stash and there is no port to map there is a volume to map and one more thing that we're gonna run it in interactive mode so so that we can give input on standard input so and this is the directory we are mounting to data now the most important thing is this link so the, here is the trick I'll show you so you have to give name of the container my elastic search in this case and this link alias must be ES because we have defined that this docker uh, in the in the configuration in the configuration file um, that it will look for ES in the docker containers slash etc slash hosts file and accordingly it will try to find that depending on the IP address that this link captures if you are not aware about this please check out our previous tutorials regarding containing regarding linking containers or check out docker user guide for containing linkers I mean linking containers I'm sorry so my elastic search ES here we go and what else we want to do here so what we are doing we are creating a docker container volume is mounted name is my log stash link is ready now just need to give the image name and it should work I think up into log stash colon snap shot all right here you go okay again a container having the same name is running so come on now quickly remove that sudo docker rm dash f my log stash and this is because I was doing a testing before recording this video that's why uh, there are there are docker containers existing with the same name so let's remove it now execute our command and you see that this docker container is running with um, with an interactive mode in fact so hey uh, are you alive it should so now these two are converted here as you see that log stash is sending the same thing to um, same thing to Elasticsearch server 
end here on a standard output. So for standard output, you already see here. Now we will verify that is it successfully linked to the to this container running here, Elasticsearch. If it is, then it should show these messages over the over uh, that 9200 link. So hey, we will look for you over Safari. See you there. Just funny. Anything. Okay. Now come here and so you see this search pretty and if so if you see here message how to make sure so here you go hey we will look for you this is the this is that and this is the timestamp and everything so this is a kind of a very very simple tutorial this is just showing you how you can link my elastic search and lockstitch containers but you can do a lot on top of that so uh, i appreciate your attention thank you so much for checking it out and stay tuned um in our in our future video i'll record a video that demonstrates that how you can put kibana on top of that elastic search to really take advantage of the beautiful interface that elastic search has provided to us thank you